Hey, party people, it is Karen, and I think it's, I did some uh, editing of my live stream titles, and I think we're up to day 21 or 2 or some craziness. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, it's Saturday night, and I was not feeling the challenge today, I gotta tell ya. And I've been trying to draw... You know, ever since Steve Ditko passed away, everybody's been doing little tribute pictures, and I, of course, also had wanted to do a tribute picture, even though I'm usually not inspired by that sort of thing, and certainly not superhero stuff, because I don't feel that I'm, it's in my uh, genre it's not my forte or forte. Apparently, the technical term, you're not supposed to say forte. Technically, it's, it was fort. But then everybody now says forte, so I believe now both uh, both are correct, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, so um, I worked on that a little bit. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. I had... I finally figured out what was wrong with his other leg. I was struggling all day with his... I'm still struggling with his legs because foreshortening. Uh, and I've been, like, studying the anatomy because muscles. And I think I had his... Originally, I had his toe pointed like this. But then I realized today it, it was just looking wrong. And I think it's because it was too girly. Not that there's anything wrong with being girly. But, you know, he's not... Um, Spider-Man isn't, uh, like, ballet dancer grateful. He is, but, like, he's usually, like, flailing around in panic mode, like, reacting and wise quacking, cracking. And, you know, Spider-Man is one of my favorites, even though I, um, so I didn't collect a lot of comics, but I did watch a lot of comic cartoons when I was young. You know, back in the 70s and 80s, there was a Justice League and Spider-Man was on. And, you know, I watched a lot of Saturday morning and afternoon car cartoons. And so I, I digested a lot of my um, comic book hero stuff through that. So I always liked Spider-Man. He was one of my favorites. I even used to, when I would go back to New Jersey to visit my grandparents, I would like see, um, they had all kinds of different channels. And so they always had, um, then I did Living Out West. And they had a, uh, they always got a, the old Supermans, which I never saw anywhere else. So they were like on TV, the, um, you know, like 19, the black, the old, old ass cartoons. I don't know what decade. I'd have to look that up. I don't, it escapes me now. Was it 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s, something like that. Um, and so, anywho, so Spider-Man has always been one of my favorites. And I loved the, all the Spider-Man movies. Um, I especially like the new Spider-Man. Um, I love Tobey Maguire. Spider-Man, but I really like this new kid as well in the current Spider-Mans. He's pretty, he's pretty rocking. Um, so, and I'm going to try to do the original costume, which, you know, it looks, it's actually kind of like hard to figure out how, so I was messing with it today, and it's actually not as easy as it looks for me to get that striped down. He's got like blue and red costume, and he's got the uh, webbing in there, and it's kind of I don't know. I just, you know, more props to these guys who can put human beings in these crazy foreshortened angles with all these contortions and muscles and things that just make my brain hurt. If I had to, I was streaming this earlier today, and if I had to, and I was saying if there's just no way I could do this for a living because uh, it would take me, it takes me like 10 years just to figure out how the arm muscles work. So, anyway, so that's what I was doing. So then back to the challenge. So today, um, I only put in, I was not into it, but I was going to put in my half hour anyway. So I finished up the lines on the ship. The Not the all of the lines. I have to do the surface details. But the structural lines. And then I uh, couldn't stand how it looked, so I threw in the... Uh, I spotted the black of the black sky in the background so I can get more of a feel for it. I think that's part of the problem is I'm not quite sure now how it's going to go. Um, 
and how I'm going to texture it and how I'm going to do the planet and how I'm going to, uh, I'm worried about all the surface details and all this crap. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to think about it. I need to, what I need to do is I need to bust open some, um, some manga and I need to, uh, look at their, I don't want to look at black, I don't want to look at American comics because American comics although I love them, um, don't always, obviously there are some that do this very well, but since they don't rely on shaded black and whites, it's usually black and white line, you know, line art with feathering and then lots of open whites. And, um, I mean, they'll have blacks, but then there's not a lot, the gray is only done with, and then, they, then they're colored. You know what I'm trying to say, right? They're all colored. They're not like, an art form that is supposed to be black and white that is still black and white to this day anymore they used to be black and white but almost all of them now are color as you know but manga with all the different tones and screen tones and so I'm gonna look at that and I just need to look at a lot of space funk for reference space junk space funk jet space stuff um, I've done you know I've done searches before for like um on google for google images and things to just get inspired for spacey shit and i think when i was especially when i was doing the life in space comic and it's funny how mm, there isn't really a lot i mean there's there were some like in the 60s 70s 80s with like there's like some european guys and but you'd think that there'd be more pictures up every year there's more and more content on the internet and um, if you just wait long enough stuff that I didn't see 10 years ago now is just like blowing my mind how rich the search results are but um, anyway so I just I feel like I'm at a like you know I'm at, and then of course today the the doubt crept in I think that's part of the you know that okay so it's day two so I've been doing this for like 20 some days 20 days Day zero, 20, 22, I'm not even sure how many days. Just around 20 days, 20, between 20 and 25 days I've been doing this. So I'm almost a quarter of the way there. And so now the fatigue has started to set in. The excitement has worn off and now it's the, uh, not that I have to go a whole hundred days more, but that the, why the heck am I doing this? Is it worth it? It's not going to look how I want it. Nobody gives a shit, you know, nobody's going to care when it's done. You know, all that bullshit's like negative talk, right? I was really feeling that today. Like, oh my God, why am I going to bother? You're no fucking Ditko. You couldn't get a job at Marvel. Not that I want one. I mean, you know, um, not that I wouldn't want one, but that's just not a goal of mine. Actually, the only comic, like professional comics goal I really have like, if you were to say, Karen, do you want to work with Marvel or DC or one of those? I would really not want to pencil. I would just love one of my goals. Like, it'll never happen and I'm not going to go for it. But, you know, one of those pipe dream things like, huh, I would actually like to ink, ink over like a, um, I'd like to be an inker on a Batman comic or something. So Batman is another one of my favorites. And that would be freaking sweet to be an inker on Batman. So if you had, if you said to me, Karen, what is your dream um, job in like, you know, publishing? That would be it. That would be it. Give me a, get me on the Batman book and let me ink it. Uh, digitally, of course, not traditionally, because I haven't inked digital traditionally in a million freaking years. Although I used to quite enjoy it. I used to use uh, quill pens and brushes, um, but I have no control anymore. So yeah, so that would be what I would want to try to do that would what I if I was to aspire to get a job in the industry it would be to be an inker anyway uh, probably because I just don't feel like I could be a I'm not a high enough ca caliber of a penciler I could probably color too I think I'm pretty confident in my coloring skills I could do that I know how to I know how to flat I know how to like paint and I know how to do cell shading and so I could you know I could be a colorist or an inker, but uh, I wouldn't want to be a penciler unless I was suddenly like leveled up to like, 
I'd have to level up a lot. So I'm still, I was watching an, another gaming channel. Uh, I watch gaming, I don't usually watch gaming channels because I'm not a huge gamer anymore. I used to be back in the old days. Um, but then I avoided games for a really long time because I was trying to get my kid not to be hooked. And, um, you know, until he was old enough. And so now that he's old enough, now and now I have Battlefront too, because um, I'm also a Star Wars nerd, I have been gaming like crazy on that game. And the only, but so I actually have been watching a couple gamers um, channels because I'm like trying to figure out how the heck am I going to get better? And I have gotten a lot better. I'm on the leaderboard all the time now. It's fine. But so, but this one guy, he, he was calling them, there was this one channel, this one YouTuber's channel. He, he was breaking Oh, hey, Zabethy. So I'm just rambling here. I'm just story time, I guess. Um, and so he was, uh, he broke down all the different types of players there are in these first person shooter games. And I guess if you were going to call me in comic book terms, I would be in gaming terms, the delicious noob. That's what he calls the delicious noob. That's how I am. Um, so so yeah, the delicious noob. Anyway, so yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is all I got done. And um, I'm not sure, originally I wanted to put, um, like I want more stuff in the picture. In my thumbnail, I had um, like maybe some other ships flying around and I was gonna use this, um, Oh, that's a pen. That's not my my thing. I was gonna use this area down here. Uh oh, crapiola. What happened there? What happened? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. What the heck, man? Change expression color. I didn't want to change expression color. What the heck? All right, I will make a new raster layer now. Okay, that's what I did. So if I, originally I was going to have like the title of the issue. Oh, thank you. I was going to stick the title down here, like whatever. It's, I was going to use this area for text. Not a lot of text. So then, and I don't know what I want to do with this planet. Uh, and if I'm like looking at this compositionally, right? So, all right, let's get some red on here, make this a color layer. So if we're going to start up here, we open the book and we look, well, we'll probably look right here. And then this leads us down here. I mean, that's fine. It, it like, it's good. It does what it's supposed to do, right? But it's sort of boring. There's nowhere else to, there's nothing. So I need things that are like pointing into this and making it more dynamic. And then the text will just be off by itself here. And I know I'm going to have like a I'm going to have some kind of, see, some kind of like glow. This is going to be black and white, so not blue. But some kind of like textured glow coming out. And I don't know, a bunch of star crap. So, I mean, it'll be okay, because then you'll be led in through here. I just feel like, like, I need to, I don't know, atmosphere, okay, so Zabethy says, am I saying your name right, Zabethy, Zabethy, or should I just call you Beth? <laughs> um, add some atmosphere on the planet, swirls that lead the eye, maybe. Yeah, see, I was, I was thinking something like, some kind of texture, Zabethi, Zab, Zab, Zabethi, Zabethi, Zabethi. Is there like, is there like a, 
is there a reason behind your, like, is there a story behind your handle? It's not Bethy. Or is it your real name? <laughs> it's not Bethy. It's not Bethy. Um, yeah, some kind of swirly, swirly, blurly. Oh, that is clever. So your handle is clever, actually. Yep, yep. So I, I guess what I'm... I'm not sure if I want to, here's what I'm not sure about. I don't know if I want to keep it like black and white, crisp and graphic like this, or if I really want to tone out everything. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter. I suppose I could mix depending on what page it is or what mood it is. I need to go back to, I'm drawing a lot of inspiration from this manga called Vagabond, which I haven't, yeah, I'm gonna put stars all over the place. And, probably do some like tone work with, so that it looks like there's maybe nebula or something in the background. wish I could remember, oh man, what was that guy's name? Do I have it in, hold on a second. I have, there's somebody's line work that, let's see in my finder. I, I hoard, I have a, I'm looking on my other monitor right now. I have a pay, I have a folder called line work inspiration. By the way, I caught up on your videos uh, and I left you some questions for a future video for you to answer. Line art inspiration. Now, Moroto is his name. Okay, let me look at him. I think. Oh, that's cool. Is that Wally Wood? Yeah, that's Wally Wood. Hold up. I mean, I love Mobius as well, but so he keeps things more like linear line work. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh man, I'm still over on Akira. Okay, wait. Yukovich. He's all the way down here. I have so much in this folder, it's not even funny. Moroto. I thought I saved some of his stuff that was. Or maybe I just saved the pretty girls. Come on now. Pretty, pretty girls. I know he had some, like. No, I guess I didn't. Well, poopy. Oh, look, I saved one one punch man. God, I need I need to finish that. What's going on? I guess I should be looking back through the. I save a lot of good stuff in here. <laughs> so, rumble black and white. Oh, he's so amazing. Let's see that one. Sorry, I'm just browsing through all this without showing it. Oh, 
wait, what's that? Yeah. Let's open this. This is Moroto, I think. I just didn't save it with his name, so. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, you already did your voiceover. That's fine. I, no hurry on them. Because you got 100 days to go, you know. <laughs> so. So this dude, uh, I believe he's European. Um, but this kind of stuff in the background here in the sky. So I don't know if this is, um, I don't know if this is showing up, but I don't know how large it is. This is a small, actually, JPEG, so it's not really showing up very well. But I don't know if I want to do the line work just black and white like this. Uh, and you see how the, I don't know if you can see how the planet was drawn with textures. Like, it looks like stippling, right? And then it looks like there was spatter from a toothbrush or something. This is old, so I don't think they used credit cards back then. I think they used toothbrushes or paintbrushes or whatever. So this is, so I was going to spatter, digitally spatter, or make one in Photoshop and then copy it over. Or make a brush or something. I love this line work so much. This is like, I don't even know, kind of like, Modern meets, oh, what's his name? Oh, for God's sakes, I'm so old, I can't remember nothing. <sighs> Aubrey Beardsley. So it sort of reminds me of a cross between Modern and Aubrey Beardsley, with some air tape thrown in. Yeah, this guy is... Um, it's funny, I read a book when I was, I don't know, a tween or early high school or something, like a novel that he had, that had illustrations. Any kind of book that had illustrations, I was down with, right? So, and um, his work is like amazing. So I didn't even know his name. I literally had to like search. I had to put in like the most random keyword searches to, and then like scroll through like dozens and dozens and dozens of images on Google till I was like, oh yeah, that's the dude. So, anywho, back to this thing. So, yeah, that's, I know I'm going to texture up the, the star field. I'll probably, I don't know, but I just don't know how far I'm going to go. Am I going to add, like, I don't know. Do I want it, like, super textured and gritty and, and like, lots of tones and grays? Or do I want it, like, clean? Yeah, there was some spot color in there, huh? So I think you're right. I think I think maybe that's why I wanted to get like this page done because I kind of do need to do some tests on how I'm going to the look of the comic. Um, so we'll see. I just don't want to end up like I would. I'm like worried that I'm going to end up shading it as detailed as I would with color. And then it's going to take flipping forever to do. So I need to start reading Vagabond again and get re-inspired because that was the comic that was um, that was getting me all hopped up to start working on a comic again. Um, yeah, I just need to do some, I just need to, it's just the feel of it. I don't know. I don't know. And like, and I guess here's the other thing, like, so in Vagabond, one of the things I really liked about that book was, um, depending on the feel of the page, the inking and the toning might change. So depending on what emotion was on the page, the action on the page. So there's no law that says I have to like stick, make one thing and stick to it. Um, so I can just... 
and this again this comic is supposed to be only about practice it's not uh it's not supposed to be for serious i'm not i don't have any plans for it it's just for me so i don't know i this is i get into my head like this a lot and i'm just like uh i'm sure we all do this right so i'm just i'm trying to talk myself out of going on so i i was saying earlier that i'm day 20 something and i'm almost a quarter of the way there and so like i'm starting to get into the let's talk yourself out of it phase <laughs> so so i think you know it's all good it's all good i'll just keep going um i'll figure something out i can tell that it already looks better even with like it already feels better with the little blue blobs of uh engine spewage here so <laughs> So I know that I'll like it much better when I start getting the special effects and the stuff out on it. But right now it's just looking pretty lifeless. You know, it's looking it, not lifeless in a bad way. It's just like too crisp, too clean, too static, no movement, no life. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. Cause that was it. That was my update. That's all I did. Yeah. Sterile. Thank you. You got the word. That's it. Sterile. So Bethy says it looks sterile. That is right. That's what it looks like. So you see, I changed Spider-Man's foot from earlier today. I figured that I didn't like his pointy toe cause it made him look. And so I moved it up and I think it looks better. I just need to now figure out how to draw a foot from this position. <laughs> so, um, not make it so giant. He's not a Lilliputian. If anybody's read The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, you'll know, uh, you'll know what the Lilliputian guys were. I think, wasn't that their names? I don't remember, but they were the guys that had one giant, um, they were called, they were monopods and they had one giant foot that their legs, uh, descended into and then one giant foot spread out from the bottom and they hopped around or paddled on their giant foot like a canoe. Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C.S. Lewis. So, anyway, I'm still messing with this. I'd like to get it, I'd like to get it finished, but, uh, I think I'm probably gonna, um, I'm probably gonna bail here shortly. So, <sighs> I'm gonna go blow some stuff up. I'm gonna go be a delicious noob on the on the video games downstairs and comfort my poor sad doggy who has been traumatized yet again by more fireworks people it is now the 8th and they are still lighting off fireworks and upsetting my dog and they have till tomorrow the 9th and after that if they're lightening them off I'm calling the police because it's against the I am that kind of a lady I don't know who's doing it. It's not just one person. It's all over my neighborhood. But I'm hoping that if they keep doing it and I call the police, um, the cruiser will just drive through and they'll go, oopsie, we're not supposed to. And they'll stop. Because, you know, my poor dog. I mean, she's she is so traumatized. And during the day, she's so exhausted because she can't sleep at night. All she does is sit and shake and pant and tear. Her, and then, you know, they've been doing it since Memorial Day here. It's just not not good so I feel bad but so I'm gonna go snuggle with my dog and I'll be on again tomorrow so uh, I'll be looking forward to your next I, I asked you some good questions well I think they're good a e i e I'm very curious to know your reasons as to why you're doing something so I'll be looking forward to your um, future videos so about the on your your videos so and, um, yeah, I am, I know I did answer the you, but I am enjoying both the music and your voiceovers and, um, kudos to you for like actually making really good videos. Unlike me who just does this <laughs> because I just can't be bothered. Uh, I guess I don't have any high, I used to have high standards, but now I'm just like too old and tired. I'm just like, ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> so kudos to everybody else who has super high standards and like has really classy YouTube videos and stuff because 
I just, I tried to be that person. I did, but I just don't have it anymore. I'm, I'm too old and cranky. <laughs> so, oh my God. Anyway. All right. I'm going to dig my my dog out of the closet where she's been hiding and I'm going to sign off. So everybody who's doing the challenge, rock on. And um, keep it up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Adios. After a while, crocodile. <laughs>